Hi guys, welcome back. I really hope the lighting is okay. The weather is not brilliant today and my lighting in my room can all sometimes look a bit grey when I'm in editing and stuff, so I hope it's okay. Today I'm going to be talking about the summer limbo period between finishing university for the summer and then going back in autumn time, basically having four months off being at home, which is really strange. Um, and I wanted to talk about it and just talk about my experience with it and how I've dealt with it and stuff. And the fact that I am going back to uni less than two weeks time. It's like uni is like an alternate like universe, like an alternate reality. Um, and you come home and you're kind of back to your old life. And it's weird also not only for you to adjust to, but your family to watch you go through it because it must be quite frustrating for them to see you adjusting and settling back into the life that you had before. I finished for the summer holiday in June, very early June. My last exam was June the 1st. I came home on June the 5th, I want to say. Um, and I don't go back to uni until September the 18th and start on the 26th. So this was my first year really of adjusting to being at home and being in limbo and being at home doing very little when you've had seven, eight months at uni where everything's been really go, go, go. Very bizarre to come home and it's just been a very big learning curve for me, I think. I returned to my job at Sainsbury's, which is a British supermarket and it um, was my previous job. So first and foremost, to return to that was really strange when I hadn't worked there for almost a year. Just doing a part-time retail job again, which was really strange for me because you have this paranoia when you go into retail from being a student that people assume that is your just full-time job and I have nothing against people that work in retail full-time for some people that is what they want to do and that's fine like it's not something that I hate doing like retail is not as bad as what you think it's going to be it's very it's very actually very enjoyable and quite rewarding um but you do have a a hidden internal concern that the public think that is what you're doing as a 19 year old is just gone straight into retail so sometimes you do want to say I am a student um I'm just working here part-time over the summer. When you first get home it is weird to relax and it's really hard to relax initially and to get used to being back in your hometown again and seeing people that you used to know and being in a smaller smaller environment with maybe less freedom than what you had before. Like at uni you're fending for yourself, you're doing your own laundry, you're doing your own organising of your meals and your schedule and your um, way of living and then you come home and that's all kind of not taken away but it's kind of like restricted again and it's really strange. But equally I love being at home because obviously at home you're with your family and you're doing things and catching up for lost time that you missed out on when you were away. Worried really about going back to uni in a sense that I am worried about that big change again. It is a little bit like being a boomerang when you're a student. You're going from your home life to your university adult alternate life and it's this weird like limbo. What is considered home is kind of put in jeopardy essentially and you're kind of, it's very confusing and very quite overwhelming. In terms of what I've done over the summer, like I said, I've I've been in working in retail. It's not many hours a week. They didn't give me as much overtime as what I was anticipating doing. Um, I thought they would want me all the time but I was doing 12 hours a week and now and then I was picking up extra shifts on the till. Um, whereas beforehand, I've mentioned before, but I did quite a manual position like working in the warehouse and restocking the fruit and veg section which was lots of heavy lifting and it wasn't good you know whereas this I was just sat serving the public which was a very different perspective of retail I mean I haven't really had as much um experience in it was something I was quite shocked that I was able to do because it wasn't something I think I would have thought I could do before going to uni I feel like uni does give you that level of confidence and um self assurity than what I had before. That's what I've been doing with my summer. That and I've been trying to read as much as possible. What I'm currently reading is the book of Marjorie Kemp, um, which is for my Shakespeare Sisters module, which is basically just about one of the first women in literature and the um, early English language from a medieval wife and mother and whatever, which is very interesting seeing my family and seeing friends as much as possible and seeing my girlfriend and trying to just do as much as I can. Although my hometown is quite small, which is equally quite alienating. Like I'm used to living in a city now and then I come home and everything's just like, whoa. And I don't like the fact that I do bump into people that I used to know that maybe does bring back 
bad memories which are associated with like school and um, my old life which I kind of left behind. I think I'm gonna have to kind of get my head around and get used to but it's a little bit of a weird one. It's almost like uni felt like it never happened. Going into second year of English and creative writing and this year counts which is crazy. It's weird to think all the work like I did first year, all of that work I did last year doesn't even count towards my degree. I've got a couple of weeks now just to buy last minute bits for uni um, and prep myself for going back in to my new student house and seeing my friends again and everything which is really exciting. Autumn is finally approaching us which is mad. Um, the sun has seemed to have gone in the past week or so. It's cloudy but it's still kind of warm which is really strange but I do have tights on today so yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> bye bye everybody I hope to see you again soon. Bye!